Hey, how are you doing? Um, we're going to do a quick replay. This is one that I literally just played. It was with my buddy, Surav. So if it goes in. There we go. We have connected. So this is a battle that I have just played. Uh, me and Surav have been playing games pretty much all evening. And... This I think yeah this is the one we just finished on so it's on you side pass you 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 suey you suey pass you suey pass sounds cooler so you got Surav, you got me and then on the opposite team we were against Pedbot two thousand and eight and Alex Arden uh, Surav did say he's been playing Alex pretty much he said he says he's played him quite a few number of times he said he's a good guy so thought I'd add him um, so hello Alex if you're watching. Look, you're on tub, you're on the tub, you're on the U-tub. So, we're going to get kicking into the battle. Um, I'll probably air a couple more of these. Um, ooh, oh, oh wow, these cyan guys are pretty sweet. So, let's get kicking into the the unit composition. Um, I bought two Naginata Samurai with some pretty beast stats. Um, I've then got my Spag Daddies and my Big Daddies as my Nodachi. We've then also got my shock troopers. These guys are nutty as F U C K um, because they are six chevron. They've got over 20 melee attacks. These guys are going to boss. Um, we've then got my Naginata warrior monks on either side. And then we've got Mr. Captain Cabinet. There he is. What? Why has Mr. Captain Cabinet not got his spiky thing on? Oh, that's rather annoying. Um, but yeah, so that's my army. So uh, he is fielding. Some Naginata Warrior Monks up front, followed by some Nodachi, <laughs> there's a surprise. He's then got a Katana Hero, make them plays happen. Um, he's got Katana Sam, Katana Sam, Katana Sam, Kat oh my goodness, he's got four Katana Samurai. This is completely, this, no, this just isn't Surav. Surav always brings Nodachi, this is just wrong. <laughs> what's going on? I didn't even notice. Whenever I play TV2, I never really notice what's going on with, um, my, uh, with Surav or my other player. I'm generally focused just on my side of the field. Um, he's got some naggy attendants on either side, which is a good move because these guys are nice cheap spear units. He's then also got some mounted gunners. These guys are annoying. You in game? No, I'm recording. Hunter, um, fire cav, and yari cav. Uh, mounted gunners are very annoying. Um, I'd probably put them on Donderbust Cav on my hit list if I had to assassinate any of these units in real life. They're both incredibly annoying, but very effective at the same time. So. Uh, Pedbot 2008, what have you brought? He's bought some Yaliashigaru. He's then also got some Boa Shigaru. Boa Shigaru, Boa Shigaru. <clears throat> He's then also filled in some Nagi Attendants. Then some Nagi Nata Warrior Monks, Lone Sword. Nagi Nata Warrior Monks, I'm guessing that would be another Lone Sword than Nagi Nata. I'm not entirely sure. Um, He's then got his general who's just called Tuck. I like it, it's nice and simple. Oh my god, he's even like some old warrior monk man that is pretty swag i like that. <laughs> i do like that i mean when i did kind of breeze over his army i did think uh crap because i bought a fairly heavy cav build but i did forget to mention my cavalry actually i've got um three katani no sorry <laughs> three yari units and um two of them are six chevron one of them is four so they're pretty devastating but um when i did look over at pedbot's army i was kind of crapping myself a little bit he's got some more warrior monks actually yeah um, I was crapping myself a little bit because this is a lot of cav. Um, was that two Yari? Oh no! Oh, that noise is really. I need to turn that noise off. It's definitely getting on my nerves now. I turned it on thinking, yeah, it's pretty cool, but no, just no, it's not. Um, so you've got two Yari cav. You've got two Naginata warrior monks. I'm. S I still have never fielded any of these guys, but they are beast. They all pretty much dominate most cavalry fights. Definitely recommend bringing them if you've got them. I mean, Yari Cav will get the charge, but these guys will get the sustain. So, if you are fielding Yari Cav against Naginata Warrior Monks, you have to get a good charge. Um, smack their numbers down by a lot. Um, otherwise, if you don't do that, you can't run away because they'll just chase you and they'll cut you down in sustained melee combat. So, really, uh, Naginata Warrior Monks, very hard unit to play against, good against everything. Um, and they are pretty decent at chomping up the Yari Cav, I have to say. As long as the Yari Cav don't get the charge off, you're fine. So, Alex, 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 wow, this is a lot of, it's a lot of Sam. 
he's got two katana sam on the side he's then got one two three four five six i think i count yeah about six um six naginata samurai these guys are pretty devastating they're again a very good unit good against cav good against um infantry units um he's then got some yari samurai at the back and some more naginata at the back so he's got a total of eight naginata um he's then got another yari sam and is that two yari sam it's two yari sam to make a combined three yari units these guys must just be um they must have just been depleted or something from the last battle. And he, again, he also has a lot of cavalry. This scared the crap out of me. He's got Yari Cav, Yari Cav, Yari Cav, and Yari Cav. He's then also got a Burshigaru on the flank, which seems to be protecting his general. Um, what's his general called? Katan Suru Hero. That is a. I'm not gonna lie, Alex. That's the coolest name I've heard so far. The most creative, definitely. It's a nice name, and I like your general. You're, you must be the first person who's customised their general. I love you. Um, so yeah, let's play. Let's play the battle. So, oh, I was actually. I just want to say as well, I was pretty proud of the way I set up my army. <laughs> um, but okay, so tactics, 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 tactics. Two v two. You always, always spawn as close as you can together in the centre. Um, these guys are spread really far apart. You don't want this. You isolate each other out. Um, the last map, me and Sir, I've played on this. Uh, last battle, should I say. Me and Sir, I've played on this map. Um, unfortunately, they did do this. Um, the player on this side bought a really crap army, and I steamrolled him with cavalry. Um, and literally, with just, just four cavalry units, I destroyed his whole army. Um, the rest of my main was with Sir's army, and we wiped out the isolated. Uh, army over here whereas if they're both together they can support each other and also if one goes bow heavy one goes I don't know infantry heavy or one goes cav one goes infantry you know you're a lot more versatile together a lot stronger together as well um, so he's gonna pull his Alex is gonna pull, a, uh, pull his cavalry over behind our army so this is a good move it does begin to worry me I don't want to spring my cavalry too much though because these guys are kind of on the downhill advantage only very slightly um, and he's he is outnumbering me even though my stats are a lot lot higher so I pull out one of my Naginata warrior monk units to cover the back do the same to the other side um, I'm not so concerned about him running in although I will move my warrior monks up um, the reason I'm not too concerned is because I've got a Naginata Sam and they're gonna have to maneuver the way in here which won't work so I spring the trap I because now he's kind of locked in between all of this he has to run back to his army if he's gonna um, not sustain any casualties so what I do is I micro my cab I send one up front and two around the sides because if he charges back he'll hit the center I'll charge in with um, two flanks to wrap him up but he doesn't do that instead he makes an excellent move I have to applaud him for this this was a very good move and um, the Sarav was telling me in the battle oh crap he has cavalry he didn't even realize he just turned around and bang all of his um, katana troops are just being hit Unfortunately, what I would say is that um, while it was a good idea that he managed to do this and pretty much route almost one of his really good Katana units, the problem with Alex is that he charged in all of them at once and they didn't have much of a surface to hit against. Because now all of my cavalry are just going to charge in and wipe them out. These guys have all got 35 to 40, I think. Uh, yeah, these guys have got 35 or 40 charge. They're going to devastate and they really did just destroy. Um, whenever you have Yari Cav, you always, always want a nice straight line. You want to get the longest line as you can because then you can get the most contact. Because if, I don't know, you had a, you know, oh, I'm going to have to demonstrate this. Because I don't know, if you had um, quite a thin line like he had, if you just have three or four units in your, three or four kind of Yari Cav in your front line, and they're in a sort of column, if you hit the back of, say, my Naginata Warrior Monks from the nice straight line, you'll only get a surface area you know literally the size of Luxembourg it will it will be tiny basically in comparison to the whole aspect of things um, whereas if you had a nice big straight line you charge in and um, pretty much all down the Naginata um, warrior monk line everyone will get hit it will make a massive wave of monks flying in the air and you'll get maximum hits basically your charge will hit its peak that's the most amount of men you can hit with your charge and that is when you have a fully extended line of cavalry 
um, that really would have been a lot more helpful. I, I mean, I try not to um, gang up. That's why when you saw me running over to his cavalry to try and protect, I had them in nice extended lines, um, one charging up, two around the flanks, because that way I get the most surface damage as I can. It's always something to bear in mind. So at the moment, his, um, his army's in a bit of disarray for some reason. I'm not entirely sure why. Um, I send my cavalry round to try and take his general out, because his general was hiding over here for some reason. Um, but then uh, I see he's pulling all his army over, so I split up my cavalry, take one this way, one that way, so his army is even more in disarray. I leave one here again to keep him occupied, um, and he's going to begin to shoot at me. Meanwhile on Sar Sar Surav, Surav. <coughs> Meanwhile on Surav's side, it's not really going too well for him. He got attacked, he kind of got flanked, I think he lost the um, the cavalry engagement it looks like and um, he's only really got his mounted gunners left these guys will still do a bit of damage um, they're pretty devastating he's firing into the sides it's a good idea it's going to demoralize the monks um, and for some reason uh, Pedbot didn't really pull up his army quick enough I mean you always want to be going balls deep you know as I was saying in Bruticus's battle ages ago always go balls deep have your whole army engaging at one time it really does help um, and unfortunately he didn't quite take advantage of the fact that um, the Seraph had to dedicate all of his troops over to support his Katana unit which was being attacked by all of Alex's cavalry so he really could have taken advantage of that that's all I'm going to say um, but I mean unfortunately he hasn't really got too many really good um, sort of infantry units what he did have um, he's already kind of spent it on the flank. Um, he really should have kind of kept these guys in spear wall, waited for Seraph to charge, and then charged in his best units. Um, and meanwhile, peppering uh, with his archers while Seraph's army just kind of queues up for killing. So, what happens on this side? He sends them into a sort of column, which was a bit strange. Again, the surface damage, you want to extend all your troops to get as many of them fighting as possible to avoid this queuing. Um, he sent his general in with a Naginata, so. Um, he attacked this Naginata Samurai of mine, so I charged in my remainder of my cavalry to try and soak up all of his, uh, his Naginatas and also kill his general, which seemed to work. Um, at this point as well, I had Naginatas on the side. I flip them round, pop off a war cry. These guys are going to do the same, and I'm going to, again, flip off a war cry in a sec. I charge in the remaining cavalry from the back, and um, it basically just ends up in a huge chain route, unfortunately, for Alex. Um, it probably could have been, it definitely could have been avoided if he extended that line instead of making a big column, um, and also leaving behind one or two Naginata units um, to cover his kind of flanks and also the rear from any cavalry or Naginata warrior monk charges. That really would have helped him out a lot more, um, other than doing this sort of a technique. So meanwhile, on Sarav's side. Um, He's just kind of mopping up all of Pedbot's sort of Ashigaru units. And then Pedbot then pulls back his archers, which is a good idea. Um, his general's going to make a nice little last stand. <laughs> and he's, he's a little monk. That is so funny. I love that. <laughs> Again, though, um, has he got, is he a leadership general? I think he's a leadership general because he's got stand and fight, which is good. Always want leadership general, in my opinion. Always have. Oh, look, there he is. I think I'm guessing he just added me then. Um, so, because pretty much all my Naginata infantry managed to clean up Alex's army, my um, Katana troops were free, so I just. I didn't even have to use the um, sword units, so I just kind of charged them over when um, Alex started routing. And at this point in the battle, it's pretty clear that, um, that me and Sir have one, it was a very good game, GG to both the players, um, it was a lot of fun, I mean, it had some good little tactics and ideas to bear in mind, I loved that um, that good cavalry charge, I've never seen Seraph being taken by surprise like that, that, that definitely made my day, <laughs> it was good, I liked it, it was a good move, um, but yeah, I mean, just bear in mind Alex, you know, the, the surface area, extend the line, hit as many as you can, because with that surface area, you weren't going to hit or kill that many. Um, I mean, I'll probably do a demonstration actually after this. Probably be a good idea. Um, you know what? Yeah, I will just do a quick demonstration actually. Um, just give me a moment.
after I get I'll get the results screen up and then I'll quickly show you on a custom ba custom battle um, the kind of effectiveness if you like. So that was a very very good battle. Thank you the web players for that. I did thoroughly enjoy that. Um, it was actually rather challenging as well. I'm not going to lie. Um, when I did see the armies, I was crafting myself because I've seen um, kind of a Naginata samurai sort of spam, but like on a huge scale where the whole army was literally just Naginata samurai, and it did own quite heavily. But um, it, it's not defeatable. It, it is defeatable, should I say? But um, I would say to both players, um, to Pedbot, just stick your army together. Um, they're stronger in number, their morale will go up, and also you've got the added effect of the fact that you're obviously you're in number, so um, <clears throat> and of course you're going balls deep, so you've got your full army potential there, um, rather than going in piecemeal. And for Alex, just remember the surface area, that will really help you when engaging large armies or big battles, especially with cab charges, it will really help. So here are the stats. I think me and Sav bring probably more quality troops than quantity, which is probably the reason we won. I'm not. I'm not going to lie. It probably is. Um, and there we go. So that's all of them units. That's and the reason I probably just got so many kills is because um, of Alex's retreating Naginata Sam. That's probably what it was. Oh, I'm re I'm really beginning to rank up these guys now. It's pretty nice. So, oof, Yari Cav got 350 kills, get out of here. <laughs> uh, Naginata Warrior Monks, 300 kills, it's pretty decent. Uh, only decent, you know, it's, it's not that bad. <laughs> um, there you go for Pedbot. Sorov. And then Alex. I mean, I'm really highly critical of Yari Samurai, but I have seen them play being played to absolute potential. You know, they've they've really been good. Um, especially if you get the melee defense stats up, they will absolutely annihilate armies uh, trying to attack them. They just absolutely destroy. Um, I really need to try and get some footage of that. Actually, It'd be really useful. And there we go. So uh, I'm just going to pop off now and quickly try and do the demonstration for you. Okay guys, I'm back, um, just started the map, and you know what, I wish in these custom games that you didn't have to bring generals, it really does annoy me, um, but we'll, we'll do the demonstration for you, so this is on rice fields, I like to do all my test stuff on rice fields, so as you can see, nice extended line, it's, it's not like this, you know, when they're all in that little column, the problem with if they're in a column, when they charge in, all they'll do is get this surface area. This is what I mean by surface area. So they'll get the front six. That's how much they'll get. Whereas if you have a full on surface like this. This is a surface area they'll cover. So all of this will get charged. Okay. And I'll show you for it. Hopefully it will work. Okay now watch this. Watch how many people get absolutely annihilated from this charge bang see the whole unit gets absolutely smashed I got what about a good 50 plus kills there just from that one charge absolutely devastating and I only lost about what about five six but obviously it's gone down now because of the uh, general so that's what I mean when I say surface area um, I've just devastated this katana samurai with only one unit um, I've even I've even killed half of the enemy general you know this has really been this is kind of how you're supposed to do it. So you want a whole fully extended line. Um, obviously, if you're trying to break into a big kind of blob of you know of an army, if you're trying to break through a thin layer of spears, um, the best kind of formation is to use the wedge formation. That's really only when you ever want to use the wedge formation. So, um, so yeah, I mean, if it was a massive army, um, loads of you know, crap ton of swords behind, thin layer of spears. Um, basically, just kind of make, kind of make teeth out of your um, out of your cavalry um, using the wedge formation, and then just charge in, just plow it. And um, that see the wedge is more for penetration. A lot of people tend to use the wedge, but really, um, unless it's spear units, 
and you're trying to get to the kind of nice soft creamy <laughs> inside of the army rather than the tough um, kind of spears on the on the outside yeah you're trying to get to the nice soft in in a bit and you want to avoid the spears on the tough side um, then obviously use wedge but other than that use a use a nice extended line so I hope you've enjoyed this kind of little battle I hope you've enjoyed it I'd certainly enjoyed playing it um, and I hope you've enjoyed that little demo as well so that would have taught you how to use your cavalry very effectively um, but bye for now